Hi, welcome to Avset Math and our continuing discussion on integer equations of the type I refer to as uh, factorable. The example equation we left off with last time was an equation of the form xy plus 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. And in this case, we're trying to solve for x and y in the elements of positive integers, which we denote with this script z with the plus sign in front of it. And as we found last time, we can take the coefficients of x and y, multiply them, and add to both sides. And now we can factor the left side into a very useful form. In this case, x plus 3, y plus 2 is equal to 15. And now we can use the fundamental theorem of arithmetic to compare and match the factor pairs on the left to all possible factor pairs on the right to help determine the possible solutions for x and y. So in this case, we have to write 15 as possibly 3 times 5, or perhaps 1 times 15. And when we look at the factor pair on the left, we quickly realize that since both x and y are 1 or greater, both of these factors have to be greater than 1, and that doesn't match up with the second factor pair, so we can eliminate that from consideration. And we also notice that the factor x plus 3 has to be 4 or larger. So the only possible factor alignment is for the x plus 3 to equal 5 and the y plus 2 to equal 3. And in this case, it leads to one unique solution, x equals 2 and y is equal to 1. Now, one wrinkle that can be thrown into this equation type is a negative sign somewhere on the left side of the equation, or possibly solving the equation for x and y in all integers, positive and negative. And in either of those two cases, we have to consider factor pairs such as minus 3 times minus 5, and also minus 1 times minus 15. And in that case, we find that we'll have four possible factor pairs to consider, and at least for this example, all four pack factor pair uh, lead to solutions in x and y, and also we can't uniquely assign x and y, so this problem would then expand to eight possible solutions, and that's partly the reason why in most AMC example problems, we find that the x and y we're trying to solve for are limited to the set of positive integers. So generalizing this result, we find that if we're faced with a, an equation of the form xy plus ax plus by is equal to some number n, that we can take the coefficients x and y, multiply them together, add to both sides, and factor the left side into the form x plus b, y plus a, is now equal to taking this number now and reducing it to all possible factor pairs. And then again, using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic to compare the factor pair on the left to all the factor pairs on the right. And you can come to one of two conclusions. Either you can find some factor pairs that match up, in which case you've uh, found one or more of the solutions to the equation, or you may find that no factor pair matches up, in which case you've determined that there are no solutions. So either of those is a possibility. Now, I'd have to consider one last wrinkle to this problem, and that is the possibility that there is a coefficient in front of the xy term. So as an example, what if we had the equation 6xy plus 4x plus 3y is equal to uh, 54. And again, we're trying to solve for x and y in the set of positive integers. So there's actually a general equation for trying to factor this, but unfortunately it's not terribly useful. So a better approach is to consider the factor pairs of 6, one of which is 2 times 3, and try to look for how you can generate the coefficients 4 and 3. The 4 would have to be generated by taking the factor 2 and multiplying it by 2, and the factor 3 would be generated by taking the factor 3 and multiplying it by 1. 
And when you do that, you'll come to realize that the factor pair that you're searching for is 2x plus 1 times 3y plus 2. And you'll realize then is that there'll be a constant term of 1 times 1 that you'll need to add to both sides of the equation in order to enable this uh, factor construction. So let's add the number 2 to both sides. And we have the number 56 on the right-hand side, which again, we have to decompose into all possible factor pairs. And here again, since we're solving for x and y in the set of positive integers, we realize that both of these factor pairs have to be greater than 1, so we can quickly eliminate this last factor pair from consideration as before. And as we look more carefully at these factors, we realize that the left factor has to be odd, regardless of the value of x. And the factor on the right is odd or even, depending on the value of y. So it appears that one of these factors, certainly the left one, has to be odd, uh, no matter what the values of x and y. And that doesn't match up with the second and the third, which are both even for both factors. So we can eliminate those from consideration. And since the only value on the left that has to be odd is the left factor, we find that uh, the factors have to match up with the factor pair 3y plus 2 equaling the even number and 2x plus y equaling the odd number. And then it remains to find if we can actually determine uh, values of x and y that satisfy positive integers. And in this case, we can that uh, x equals 3 and y equal 2 is the one unique solution. So with that, uh, go ahead and try some of the example problems, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.